Hi, I'm the Hybrid Groupie, and in this video we are going to hunt down the special characters and diacritics on the Finti keyboard. Now this may apply to other Android keyboards, uh, so hopefully this will be helpful to more than just Finti users. Now I write in four languages, and therefore I need different diacritics or accents, as well as special characters when taking notes. On my home computer, I know where they are. And those that are not readily available on my keyboard, I know the Alt plus number pad code to conjure them up. But on the Finti, as with most Android keyboards, there is no number pad to enter the Alt keys. So where do we find the characters that we need? Here is your guide. This is the basic layout of the keys that we will be needing. Let's start with the accent grav or left accent. Hit once the tilde key, that is this key here, Hit once, followed by the letter to receive the accent. Usually this will be a vowel, such as A, E, I, O, U, or Y. If you hit it more than once or follow it with a letter that does not accept an accent, it will place the accent without a letter. Now let's try for the acute accent, or right-leaning accent. For this you will need to hit simultaneously the right alt and apostrophe, that is, these two keys. As with the accent grave, you follow this with the letter you want accented. If you hit it more than once or follow it with a letter that does not accept an accent, it will place the accent without a letter. For the trema, you will need to hit the right alt, shift, and apostrophe, these three keys. So you can start with the right alt and shift and then hit the apostrophe, release them, and then follow by the letter to be accented. The same rules apply as above uh, concerning hitting twice or following with non-accented letters. One alternate for this is the letter U. If you hit the right ALT followed by the letter Y, it gives you the U trema. You will find the tilde by using the shift and tilde together, that is, these two keys, followed by the accented letter. All vowels can accept the tilde as well as the consonant N. Same rules apply as above. An alternate for the tilde N is to use the right ALT key with the letter N, that is, these two. The circumflex is, well, where it should be, over the six, that is, shift and six, or these two keys, followed by the letter. Again, the same rules apply. For the C cedula, use the right ALT together with the comma, that is, these two. You will find the French quotes by hitting together the right alt and the square bracket, right alt plus the left square bracket, these two, for the left quote, and the right alt plus the right square bracket for the right quote. For special characters, there are several available to you. The inverted question mark can be found by hitting together the right alt and the question mark, or these two. The inverted exclamation mark is produced by hitting the right alt together with the number one. Exponential numbers, 1, 2, and 3, can be conjured up by using the shift plus right halt and the number, that is, 1, 2, or 3. Beyond that, they are not available. Pound sterling is shift, alt, and 4, that is, these three keys. The euro is right alt plus 5, or these two. The quarter can be found under right alt and 6, as seen here. Now in all these cases of special characters, the keys have to be all hit or held down at once. Let's go to the half, which is produced by the right alt plus seven, or these two, and three quarters is typed when you hit right alt and eight together, like so. The symbol for the yen is produced by the right alt and the hyphen, as we see here. For the mathematical multiplication sign, write all together with the equals sign, these two. For division, use write all plus shift with the equals key, or these three. A few more handy ones are the German double S, using the write all plus the letter S, as we see here. The AE ligature, which is produced using the alt plus Z, or these two. The registered trademark sign, 
which is the right alt plus the letter R, or thus the. And finally, the copyright sign, which is the right alt and the letter C, or these two. There are other gems hidden in this keyboard layout, such as uh, nano, null, paragraph, and others, but I think this covers the most used characters by the most of us. Please leave a comment below to share your useful Android keyboard tricks with others, especially if you can find the OE ligature. I couldn't locate that one. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe. Hi. If you enjoyed what you saw in that video, then please click the subscribe button um, over here. Yeah, that one. Click the subscribe button, please. And whenever I put a video up, you will find out about it. Please.